<laughs> um, like Maria said, I, I worked in the prisons and um, I went and volunteered for Indian Nations United. And this particular group um, was really um, fighting hard to practice their own religious um, beliefs. And so um, they, were, they were having a lot of struggles. And this is, this is the poem that I wrote for them. <clears throat> One minute, sorry. <laughs> Property of I and you. This is dedicated to the indigenous brothers and sisters doing time. How can I leave you here wanting to show the world what I've found? I want to carry you out one by one. Successfully passing through their faulted machines, unable to detect my most dangerous weapon. Braided into my hair, stuffed into my pocket, tucked behind my ear. My tough and stoic Anishinaabek, hard as nails, don't fuck with me or my Niji brothers. And what they can't see is your passion, enough to crush the world, enough strength to survive their hell. So much intelligence, measured out, packaged, dispersed, stamped with a number to your leg, labeled property of MDOC. But I and you belongs to me, as I do to you, a single piece of mind, a single flame of passion, united together for justice, for revolution, for love. But you are free in my mind, dancing to songs, new songs, songs of revolution, mixing hip hop with rhythm and blues and centuries old Ojibwe, with beats so fast and fierce that it strikes fear into the heart of the Chimokman. Sporting breastplates made of Petoskey, flawless beaded feathers, moccasins sewn with perfect puckers, shirts adorned with floor, flowing ribbons, bodies canvassed with tattooed war paint to let them know that we're ready for battle 24-7, 365 days a year. There is no element of surprise for these well-oiled war machines. They've been serving 10 to 20 in war survival schools. They've been taught to attack and never stop attacking. Like a battered wife, a young raped woman, or a forgotten child, they're taking back their lives, tapping into their spirit like a maple tree in the coming of spring, wanting to be born to the sweet stickiness of freedom. Thank <laughs> you.